Hello, if you're watching this, then you need to replace a cigarette lighter on your vehicle. Probably a Maxima. Unless you're me and you can't find that video for your vehicle, so you have to make one yourself. And so, if you're doing this for a different vehicle, it'll probably still work. Who knows? We'll find out. Anyways, you're going to need to buy one of them here, Dortmund uh, cigarette lighter removal tool things. It only comes with one type of cigarette lighter, and on the AutoZone website it says it's not compatible with the 2009 Maxima. But as a 2009 Maxima owner, I can tell you that it is indeed compatible. And so, I've already pulled mine out here. Uh, what you're going to want to do, and you can see that I've bent this thing to crap, so you don't want to do that. Um, this plastic piece wouldn't let go. I can't get it off. There's probably a simple clip or something that I'm not finding easy peasy, but I can't find it. So anyways, you can kind of see on that side and on that side, there's two holes um, for your tool. And so you just line it up with one side and then push down and it'll click into the other side and then you just pull. You wanna be careful because on most of them, this metal piece will separate from the plastic piece and so you'll kinda need to wiggle the, uh, the metal to try and, you know, like this one, I guess, I just bought this car from a junker and the dude spilled like Coke in there and stuff so the Coca-Cola, I should specify, that that uh, that could be a dangerous statement. Anyways, he, uh, yeah, so it was really sticky, hard to get this thing uh, separated. And then, um, so you might have to wiggle it. And then uh, whenever you get it a little bit up, like how this one's just a, a little bit above that, you know, it's not flush with it anymore. Then people have said that you can generally start pulling it out with your fingers and um, that the tool will, uh, you know, it'll get stuck on something and then so you'll have to pull it out with your fingers. Um, for me, I just continued to wiggle it until it pulled out. And then on this one, like I said, the plastic piece got stuck, so I didn't really have a choice. I just had to rip it out. And um, I didn't really care about the cosmetics. I didn't really care if I cracked anything. I just wanted to have a power source in case I'm somewhere and I need to charge my phone and, uh, you know, contact an emergency vehicle. You know, it, it's an important feature. And really, I just want to look at memes. So, um, anyways, didn't really care about the cosmetics of it. Just ripped this thing out with the plastic thing on. And it actually, the new one, you can see, uh, it looks fine. It looks flush. Everything looks good. So, no problems. But... Yeah, hopefully that answered all your questions. Um, you can see here, that's kind of what the bottom looks like. And then on my car, here's what the cable looks like. This cable's actually bad. So I checked the fuses, I checked the outlets themselves, and um, that cable's bad. And I have no idea. I have no idea how to get under that. And so I'm not going to. I'm just going to use the always on one, which sucks because it's going to drain my battery one of these days because I'm not going to be paying attention. But anyways, yep, hopefully that answers all your questions. If uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, and I won't answer them. Some questions. I know I didn't think to actually record the process because I'm not the brightest, but hopefully, um, hopefully all that made sense. Like I said, I really had to pull and um, and also shake to get that first one out. It was not it was not an easy process. So if you find some resistance as you're going, I'd say that's normal. Um, and then on the back one where that plastic piece got stuck, I had to really, like once I got the tool in there, I had to pry it. The tool's got a hole on top. Let me find it. Oh, well, now I'm breaking stuff. So the tool's got this hole on top. And so I went down into the cigarette lighter and then I had to get like a screwdriver and I put it through the hole and I was like pulling with everything I got to try and get uh, this rear cigarette lighter out and I was like I was ready for it to just break. I thought the plastic in there was gonna crack um, But I didn't care. I mean it was a cheap car, you know, like I might as well just Have a working I'd rather like it's it's covered by the armrest. I literally do not care like if I The aesthetic of that doesn't matter to me No one's gonna be looking in my armrest and judging the 
quality work of my cigarette lighter removal so I just didn't care y'all might care so be careful but in my case nope I just I went I went at it and it ended I mean it ended up working out it it didn't break anything but I'm just saying that so obviously use common sense but at the same time you might have to give it some beef when you're pulling it pulling that cigarette lighter out of there because it it definitely fought me and it it almost won but it didn't i don't give up mama didn't raise a quitter all right good luck out there